The Diving Water Paradox is an economic concept first presented by Scottish philosopher Adam Smith. It is a term frequently used in economics, but before we dive into it, let's discuss paradox. Paradox is a seemingly contradictory phrase that somehow makes sense, like jumbo shrimp, or the beginning of the end, or fight for peace. Even though in the paradox the words are opposite of each other, they still carry some form of sensibility. Now the diamond water paradox. First, let's examine our everyday lives. Most of us value insignificant things such as dining utensil, a Barbie doll, or an apple that have very little value. But you know what has a lot of value? Diamonds! Yup, that's how our society works today. We care more about materialistic things that have no effect on our health or well-being, but can be made into jewelry or sold for millions of dollars. Diamonds are not the only example. What about that ancient Honus Wagner baseball card sitting in your basement rotting away? Yup, most people don't even care about baseball cards. In fact, I bet you can't even tell me what position Wagner played. But people don't care about that. All they care about is the fact that the card is worth $2 million. They want the money, not the card. But what if you're somewhere else? What if you're not living your normal life? What if you're in the desert? Wow, it's really hot. Who cares about diamonds? Who cares about a Honus Wagner baseball card? When you're stuck here in the desert, the only thing you care about is a bottle of water. Here, a bottle of water has more significant value than any diamond could possibly have. The diamond in the water paradox is the perfect example of situational scarcity. Depending on the setting or situation one can be in, they may prefer water over diamonds or diamonds over water. Well, how exactly does the paradox fit into economics? You could be in a desert, you could be in the jungle, <laughs> or you can be on a deserted island. Wherever you are, your wants and needs change based on the setting. For example, the resources in a specific situation, like water in a desert, become more valuable. Marginal utility also comes into play. In our everyday lives, satisfaction for every additional unit of a good, say diamonds, increases as we get more diamonds. Yes! Yes! No! No! Thank you.